heard y'all earlier talking to the gentleman about the rapture. Uh-huh. Yes. And one thing that I wanted to say about the rapture, or the, that word, the rapture, or that event, is that anybody that claims they're going to know that day mm-hmm. is a false prophet or a liar or misguiding or a con artist or whatever. There's nobody, even according to the Bible itself, there's nobody that knows that day except supposedly God the Father. Not well, even what Jesus. about what, what do you think about people who just say there is going to be such a day and we only don't know when? Well, How about uh, those folks? I, okay. One is is that, according to the Bible, there is going to be a day like that. Yeah. But only God the Father knows that day. But, not, but, uh, not Jesus Christ, not any person on this planet. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. It, it will be the day that God the Father decides that day. Yeah, what I'm asking, though, is what's the evidence that there's, in fact, there's, ever there's going no to be any such day? There's, there's no, no evidence. evidence that there's even ever going to be such a thing. There's no evidence. The whole, the whole deal about whether it's Christianity or whatever religion, in this case Christianity, yeah. is faith. And you either believe yeah. the Word or you do not believe the Word. That's what I thought. Thanks. Yeah. I see. Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> well, looking for evidence for everything, then, well, it's pretty Well, I think, I think that when we're talking about something like the end of the world, that's something that would be important enough if it was true that it's worth demanding the evidence. See, right? you, if anybody's you going, I, wait a minute. If you anybody's I, going around saying there's going to be this end of the world, right, okay. and I, not providing evidence but expecting anybody to believe it, well, right, that's an important enough claim. Yeah. It deserves a demand for evidence. Okay, yeah. I hear you. Let me speak now. Okay. How? How are you going to have evidence of that when you're talking about something that's in the future? Not my problem. Yeah. If, <laughs> if there, and if there isn't evidence of that, then the right thing to do is to be skeptical right. that it's even ever going to happen. There's nothing wrong with being skeptical yeah. because in your mind. But, but apparently. And, but I think there is something wrong with going yeah. ahead and believing it without any evidence. And, well, and as and I as think, pointed I think out, that's getting into irrationality. Our previous co- I, what, as one of our previous callers clearly indicated, and what we were talking about earlier when uh, when Jeff used to be hosting, he would bring in his rapture reports, is that there have been quite a lot of people um, in the religious community who have made a great career out of predicting the end of the world, mm-hmm. you know, getting people to uh, either fork over their property, their mm-hmm. money, etc., what have you. And again, you could uh, say, well, those guys are false prophets and what have you, they are. but that's begging the question. The fact, or the fact remains is that if you are willing to admit that, oh, well, there are these rapture claims, but they can't be proved, how, how can then it doesn't matter whether or not the person is is a false prophet and just trying to profiteer off of the claims. What matters is that no one should be taking the claim seriously. Well, first and of all, okay, y'all, y'all spoke. Let, give me just a moment. Let yeah. me speak, please. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. We're just trying to make our position. No, I hear you, and I've heard it, but all let right. me finish, is that when you talk about the Bible, mm-hmm. and this is spoken in the Bible in prophecy, mm-hmm. that there is no evidence that we can tangibly touch or see now okay. that's going to prove that you either have faith in the word, or you don't. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're aware of that. Right. Well, that's the whole point. Is okay. that, is, is the that whole simple? point is, is that when you go, well, we, mm-hmm. we demand some evidence, who are you or I to demand from the creator of this universe? Uh, I'm a rational thinking being. Rational human beings who have control over our lives. No, you that's don't. Yeah. You, no, you, we won't control over our lives. I won't control over my life. You won't control over our lives. But there's things that happen there's that things, that happen. Happen. things that have happened that are beyond our control, yeah. yes. Right. So I'm just, I'm just saying that if you guys want evidence, you yeah. only can have faith and believe but, about and, the and, rapture. Okay, and <laughs> the problem with we that position, to, hang on, Ashley. The problem that's what, the whole, that's what the, the whole spiritual... But the problem yeah. with that position, the problem with accepting yeah. faith as a, a, a valid means of, okay, this is how I'm going to make a decision about something, is that it allows these false prophets and profiteers about whom you are complaining so hard to do their business. Okay, well, one okay, because I'm, when I'm, people take a faith position and say, all right, well, I guess I will have faith in the Bible when it says this thing, and I will have faith in this church leader when he says, we all have to go up to the mountain cabin now because nope. it's going to happen Tuesday. Nope. If you're going to say that that's the position, that, that faith is a permissible way to make decisions about things, nope. you have to understand that it allows those believers to take advantage. No, and a, it true, is, no a true believer. What, what, okay. let, let, me, let me finish, please. A true, right. true believer yeah, reads the word, and if he read the word and knew what he was talking about, then he can think. And when he hears a kook say, hey, on so-and-so day, the end of the world's coming, come with me, and by the way, sell everything and bring it with you, 
I know he's a liar because I have read and I believe and I know from the word that nobody knows that day. And, and, and the last thing is, that is at the end of the book or the end of the, the world or what, as we know it. It's really not the end of the world. The rapture is not the end of the world. The rapture is right. another stage that is further down the road, but there is okay. more to the right. world. The, the trouble, here's the rapture. trouble, but the trouble with... Yeah. Hopefully. Jeff, go ahead, first and then go ahead, go ahead. No, we're actually arguing amongst ourselves whether we can. The rapture is not the end ahead. of the world. Well, we know it's part of the process yeah. that leads to the tribulation. Well, it, depends, it of course years. depends who you ask, right? right. Well, and I don't know anybody that believes a rapture is the last day of the world. The, it, it is the gathering up. Dude, dude, dude. We, right, we speak to all kinds of different Christians. We've heard an astonishing range of different <laughs> interpretations. So, you know, okay. um, we're just saying. Well, the first thing when you're talking about the, the earlier, issue, you said the issue is. Name Jeff, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Hang on, okay. It's, first, you know, a little earlier you made a comment about wackiness about Christianity. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I want to say about that is, when if you believe in Jesus Christ, which Christianity is based upon, mm -hmm. there's nothing wacky to me about somebody that taught love and kindness and forgiveness and tenderness and giving uh -huh. to the poor, t caring about your brothers and sisters. What's, what's, yeah, wacky, I mean, but, but, what's but, wacky is the religious formation of man later, where you got thousands of different denominations and the do's and don'ts and the rules. But as far as Jesus Christ, there's nothing wacky about somebody that gave their life trying to do good for their, man, their fellow mankind. And show nothing but yeah. love in May I? That's yeah. not May, yeah. may I turn. respond? Sure. Um, gave his life. Yes, he did. Do you believe that he is now in heaven? Uh, I believe he sits on the right hand of the Father, yes. So, so you're, you are the kind of Christian who says Jesus is the Son of God yes. and not actually God himself? Because we've I gotten believe, that, I too. believe he's the Son of God, yes. There okay. are some religions that and believe so, God and Jesus are the same. And yes, I know. But see, but yes, I don't I know. Know. But, but, but no, hold on. I'm just but checking. See, that's where I'm, we make I'm the just, just, that we I'm get just in. asking to clarify, okay. right, not go not actually going down that path. Okay, right? good. Don't no, because really right. that's where we get okay. sidetracked. But the point. So, here's, but please. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So Jesus shut up so gave his talk. life, Joe. right? Mm -hmm. And now he's like vice ruler of the universe. Vice ruler. Yeah, there's okay, God well, and there's I, Jesus, right? Jesus is like God, God's right-hand man, his son, right? Only, son God. only second to God in authority over the entire universe, mm -hmm. right? This well, is a sacrifice. Where's the sacrifice? Well, I'll tell you what, that's, Jeff, that's what's wacky. Jeff, See, now it's true. Love and understanding and peace; those are all fine things. Jeff, those are all if absolutely you fine. If now, caller, I'm going to have to insist that you be... let me talk. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to have to insist that you right. let me have my okay, say. Sorry. Right? We let right. you have your say. My bad. Um, love and, and, and peace and understanding, we're all in favor of those. That's right. Right? We didn't need some guy to come down to, to claim that he was, like, you know, vice ruler of the universe and come down and tell us that those are good things in the first place. Jeff, none you, of us, none you, of us Jeff, guys here. How do you know that you weren't here 2,000 years right. ago? Um, yeah, well, I'm, you're I'm, not, I'm neither, apparently neither were incapable you, of, commu of communicating with this guy. Yeah. So either if he's not going to let me talk. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm, go ahead. Now, well, you keep come. saying that you're sorry, but you keep doing it. My bad. You go ahead. All right. Okay. okay. Um, so now, not only did, you, did was a Jesus not necessary to bring that message to human beings in the first place, mm -hmm. because human beings without a Jesus can figure that out, check mm -hmm. it out, mm -hmm. right? But second, we're asked to believe not only that this guy brought this unnecessary message, but also that he died, except his death gets him this job as like second in command of the entire universe. No. It's not, where's the sacrifice? No. That's well, the wacky part. Okay. You were saying it's not wacky. That bit is wacky. No, it's really not. Are you finished? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yes, okay. I am. Please, go I ahead. I know it's not wacky. That First of all, it's easy for us to talk about where's the sacrifice, but you and I weren't crucified. And what's that, that got to do with anything? Death. What's that got to do with anything? If you can, I mean, that's the sacrifice he gave his life. He, he, uh, he gave, gave his, his life for mankind. Uh, 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 caller, if 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 I knew uh, that after three days I would be raised from the dead and got to be one of the uh, co-ruler of the universe, I'd be happy to be sacrificed. Yeah. He was Nail one of the. Up. He, was, he was already in the position in, with the father before so he came Who to cares? earth. He didn't have to come down here and die to become co-ruler. It didn't cost he him didn't anything. Didn't die. What did it that, cost him? Where, the sacrifice entails a cost. What's the cost? His life. 
three days his life, of his life. He's up in heaven, second in command of the universe. He was before. How is that he relevant? Was before Jeff. It's before like, he remember here, he were already there. Yeah. Yeah. Caller, remember what you were saying a second ago about how the rapture isn't the end of the world no, because we all get to go on? Then death wasn't Jesus' end. He got to go on. What's the big deal? Well, you know, yeah. if you're going to make that argument about the rapture, you've got to admit that you just made it when you talk about a guy dying and going to heaven. Particularly when you're, he goes to heaven and gets a big freaking prize. He right. was already, the, he had that prize before he came to earth. He didn't okay. die yeah. and then be risen to be. Yeah, but he had to deal with, you know, walking around the sandals and the robes and stuff and not actually yeah. getting to do much of anything except occasional miracles until he, he died. Occasional miracles. And then he got to sit in a, then he got to sit in the throne next to daddy and run the universe. Jeff. Yeah. You, yeah, you, yeah he he just say if death matters, if death, if death matters, then it matters, right? If right. it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you can't say it, you can't death. say the end of the world doesn't matter because everybody's going to continue in a new in a new kind of existence in heaven. No, no. But then turn around and say it doesn't matter. It does matter because you know Jesus died and that and yeah. and that made such a big Jesus difference. Died. You know, a friend of mine did the math. You know how yeah. long Jesus spent on the cross for the average guy? Something like a, a microsecond. Yeah, something oh, like point come on, a yeah, microsecond yeah. for every human being that ever lived. Oh, Jeff, come yeah. on, where like, is the, the sacrifice? Anything, you guys blow this way out of proportion. Yeah, I understand. I'm looking forward to um, to the uh, Passion of the Christ film because yeah. the story is very moving, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody likes the Hollywood idea. Got. Nobody Hollywood. likes the idea of anybody suffering for un unnecessarily. That is a valid and moving story, mm -hmm. but. All this stuff about he's the son of God, he's got superpowers, right? All that mm. stuff is unnecessary baggage that we're, we're asked to believe, and you can't prove a darn bit of it. Well, don't have to prove it. I, I agree that you can't prove it because we're not living at that time, but first of all, Jeff. <laughs> well, so really, you know, really not, whether, so whether you have to prove it or not depends on, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, if you're trying to get us to stop saying it's wacky, no, I'm not, then I'm I have not to trying, prove it. I'm not trying to get you to stop anything other than talking about See, when we group, when we give ourselves words and adjectives, and we talk about wackiness, really all Jesus Christ did was these things that I mentioned about love and kindness and forgiveness. But Jesus came to, it's a part um, of a plan of salvation for the redemption of mankind. Yeah, uh, we've, we've and, heard all about that, and, too. And, but, and, you know, look, we could go off on a tangent yeah. about how... Uh, well, what's the, the whole about, idea, about the, how weird that is that right. this God who is the creator of the universe right. would have to go pull this stunt of having a half human child and then and then run him through all these tests and tortures and things in order to get to the point where he can forgive us. You know, a God who's the, who's in charge of the universe could just say, you know, I think it's time to forgive those folks. Bang. Okay, I know. You know. If you don't I mean, believe, I it, understand. And I not only don't believe, I think it's nuts. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, there's a, there's a thinking and a rationing that you and I have. And see, if, if I'm mm -hmm. like you and think logic and rational and carnal, that's how I'm going to think too. Because logic and rational unless you and carnal? believe and have faith in either the Bible or right. God, it, it, yeah. it, does, it does sound wacky. Okay, thanks. Yeah, that's but what we were, the thing you got to do is get beyond men thinking yeah. and carnal thinking and, and, and believe okay, and what we, what we need to do yeah. is believe stuff with no evidence yes gotcha the, the well, problem with gotcha that. but the when you when you're on that. earth and you want to believe in stuff okay. we need evidence here yeah. on the planet but this is a spiritual thing that's above us and i'm not even going to think, think about thing spiritual above things above yeah. us if you can't prove there's any such yeah. thing the the way, way, God, why what, should i god doesn't need the way i live my life Okay, it's actually. Let me, let me just have yeah. one, go ahead, go ahead, one like my quick say here. <laughs> All right. See, I told you I if just I have video to, games. This if, whole I, show, it's great. <laughs> if I have to <laughs> figure out how to run my life, right. now I have the choice of being Christian and devoting my life to that and getting the reward in heaven. Or I could say, okay, there's another belief that says that I have to go live up in the mountains and wear gray robes and, you know, meditate for six hours a day to get enlightenment. Right. That's another path I could right. follow. Or I could just be an atheist. Right. You know, there, there are hundreds of different choices. Now, I have to go through the world and, and look, at, look for which one of these seems to be the most likely one. All right. And so I'm going to base my decision based on actual evidence. Now, you've already admitted that there is no evidence of God, Jesus, the Bible, the rapture, or anything like that. No, I didn't say that about the Bible. Therefore, that's going to be one of the less likely choices on my yeah. list. True. Whereas, you know, atheism and, you know, science and rational thinking, 
that I can back up with, you know, mm -hmm. rational thinking and it's, science. Right. right. And so that's got actual evidence behind it. Right. That's the one I'm going to lean on. I more understand your logic. I understand but what you're saying. we got to move okay. on because it's like the last seven minutes of the show. But okay. Oh, call just, and, and just a moment. Call us, well, we're out of time. But okay. we'll call us back next time, all right? Hey, Thanks. When you wake up in the morning, look at the sunshine and the moon, and that is your evidence. That is the creation of the of the Father. And that yeah. is evidence. No, Every sorry, day I not, see, ev not I evidence of a God. That's a huge ball of hydrogen gas that is burning like you the sun is there are there <laughs> are untold trillions of other star systems just like it yeah untold yeah. trillions not evidence of a god all Sorry. sort of just scattered <clears throat> around with nothing bringing them into mm. any kind of order except gravity and physics mm -hmm. yeah. but not a shred of evidence of a god but there's very little point i guess in going on that <laughs> path with <laughs> yeah <laughs> but see, well it's sort of like yeah now if you had like fun like the scene in <laughs> got one of those <laughs> in hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy where uh, like a slart you know they, they knew yeah. that's uh, who was it Slarty 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 Bart first Slaughter Bart yeah. Forrest had created Norway because his big signature yes. is along the side of a mountain range. Uh -huh. Okay, now that might be evidence of something, but... Uh, oh, uh, quickly, anybody who thinks that Jesus was all about forgiveness should read John 3.36. Yeah, but, and, and, and anyway. you know, I think that guy's absolutely right, you know? Yeah. You have to just believe. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> We're not the just That's ridiculous. Type. That's okay. ridiculous. If you have to just believe, then you shouldn't do it. Okay, if, one. If you're asked call. to believe it without uh -huh. a shred of evidence, you should say no. 